What's the problem, officer? A lot of times, it's people standing in the way of police business. Uh-huh. Well, this is a public building, and I have every right to be here, don't I? Well, do you have information in regards to, uh, Brenda Barrett? No. Then I guess we have nothing to say to each other, huh? Uh, Mr. Morgan is my cousin. I'd like to know why he's here. Well, Mr. Morgan helped Corinthos elude surveillance. Well, I was riding in an ambulance, and all of a sudden, I felt sick. Is there a law against that? Come on. Excuse me, Detective, if you're not going to be bringing formal charges against my cousin, I would suggest that you let him go. Detective. Watch him. One criminal escaping from this building is enough. Can I speak with my cousin for just a moment, please? in her car. Do you know what it is? A scalpel. With Dorman's blood on it. that you are friends with Miss Barrett? Yes, I am. Have you had any contact with her in the last 24 hours? No. What about Sonny Corinthos? No, we don't travel in the same circles. Well, he is an ELQ board member. Yes, he is, but that's business. Anything about Miss Barrett's life with Corinthos? Things they may have been involved in together? I believe Miss Barrett lives alone. The door's over there. Uh, excuse me, one more time. Is my cousin being arrested? Well, if you're pushing me, the answer's gonna be yes. Okay, on what charge? I'm sure I'll think of something. Let's go. I wouldn't advise it. You know, Mr. Ashton, you have a choice here. You can leave now and let me question Mr. Morgan, and I'll let him go. But if you stay, he's in my system. Okay. Actually, I believe the choice is yours, Detective. Either release Mr. Morgan immediately, or deal with Justice Ward and the rest of my legal staff. <laughs> he stays. Marty, show Mr. Ashton here his way to the parking lot, would you? You won't be here long. Let's go. What was that? Huh? You gonna swing on me? I can't. You better watch it, son. There's nobody here to protect you now. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again. Where's Corinthos? I don't know. You didn't see him leave the ambulance? I told you I was lying down in the back. Okay. You pulled a good one. I must admit, I've been fooled. But what I don't get is how Sonny made himself look so sick. Oh, come on, Morgan. You think Corinthos would cover for you? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll make a statement. Good boy. Go ahead. You're wasting your time. Give me your cell phone. I said give me your cell phone. Oh, okay. Don't worry. When Brenda or Sunny call, I'll take a message. Someone else is going to question you for a while. Why? Because I'm sick of you. Get up. You've gotten yourself in more trouble than you can think of, Morgan. When I get done filing the murder charges against Corinthos, I'm naming you as an accessory. I didn't do anything. You never do. Well, let's go.
So, Jason, you feeling better after that sudden bout of, please? Um, what was it, stomach flu? Any explanation for your, uh, miraculous recovery? Guess not. What about, uh, Sonny's disappearance? Yeah, I figured that. Taggart said you do mute really well. Well, you don't like him. <laughs> Look at this. The statue speaks. Don't like who? Taggart. He gets off pushing people around and it bothers you. You practically jumped down his throat the other day when he said that thing about Lily. Oh. What are you doing? I'm talking. That's what you wanted, right? Hmm. Taggart can say it because he never knew her. He wasn't there, detective. He didn't see the light. He didn't hear the sound. She was the first person I ever saw die. And here you are, using her memory to try to throw me off. Man, Sonny must be proud. Why, huh? why do you hate him? I mean, you're not psycho like Taggart. He's never done anything to you. Sonny married a kind and gracious woman and got her blown to bits in a parking lot. Don't you get it, little boy? Do you have a clue? Huh? That's hard to watch. After a while, it turns your stomach. It makes you sick and you want to do something about it. What, like frame his girlfriend for murder? Come on, Garcia, you do not believe that Brenda killed Dorman unless she was standing on some step ladder and asked the guy to hold still while she stuck a scalp on his heart. Yeah, you're probably right. Someone a lot taller and a lot stronger might have done a better job. Sonny? Mm, are you trying to tell me he did it? Because look, man, if you are, we're ready to make a deal right you now. We can get him. You can't get him unless you frame him, but it's too risky. But it's easy to frame Brenda, right? Mm. Because she makes it a lot easier by losing her temper and saying too much. And you think Sonny's going to confess to protect her, and that's it. You got him. Not for anything he actually did, but it's enough. It'll stick. You using her to get him, just like that uh, guy who planted the bomb used Lily. Look, shut up. Ah, uh, shut up. I don't frame people. You understand me? What about Taggart? I mean, what if a good cop works with a bad cop? And the bad cop continues to break the law and the good cop doesn't stop him. Are you still a good cop? You are something else. Sonny's done a hell of a job with you, hasn't he? Man, I remember when you were first brought in here for what? Train surfing? What was that, four or five months after your accident? Remember that? It was still a little off, but you know something? You had a, a certain innocence. There was a lot you didn't understand. It was actually kind of sweet. But not anymore. You know the drill backward and forward, and you can care less about anything other than Sonny's orders, right? He told you not to cooperate with us, and you won't. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Then you know what? I won't waste any more of our time. Jason Morgan, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Good morning. The management asked me to come by and uh, see how you slept. Uh, same as always. On my back with my eyes closed. You feel a little bit more cooperative this morning, Mr. Morgan? Mm, just hungry. Sorry, the house rules are no statement, no breakfast. I already told you, Taggart. I don't know where Sonny and Brenda are. Like hell you don't. Can I have my phone? For <laughs> what? You're not going anywhere. I'm, I'm going to order in. Now, you listen to me, tough guy. Maybe you don't understand how serious this has become. But if you don't start talking real soon, your next sleepover is going to be as a guest at a state. Detective. What? Call for you. Who is it? You just said it's urgent. Now you think about that.
Taggart. I know where they are. And who might they be? Corinthos and the model. You ready to come and get them? Go another mile and a half. Turn right. Last driveway. Missing is an ID on you. Hey, detective! Hey, Tagger! Tagger! down a visitor. Tidy up. Honey. What, 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 are you, what are you doing here? That's my question. You know, I was here. My Uncle Mac. I had to pry it out of him, but he eventually told me. When I paid you last night, I think Robin, I told you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't worry about me. That's like telling me not to breathe. Did they catch Brenda? No. Good. What about Sonny? No one's heard from him. Okay, that means he's all right. When did they say you can get out? Well, it has to be today. Taggart just kept me in here to see if I'd say anything about Sonny. I have news. What is it? Did they find Brenda? Jason's free to go. I'll be down here in a minute to let him out. Mm, thank you so much. <laughs> Just wait a minute. I don't work here anymore, remember? Sonny's uh, lawyer, Valentine, petitioned the judge. That's it? I figured they'd make it a lot harder than that. They tried. The judge uh, was trying to take his time with this until Justice Ward stepped in. Well, that was Ned. He said he'd help me. Yeah, well, whatever. It made a difference. Because once, once Justice got involved, the order came down very quickly. Pick up your things before you leave. Uh, look, I'm gonna get upstairs, okay? I wanna talk to some of my former colleagues about Brenda's case. I'll see you back at home. Yeah. Sure, I will. I'm not letting you out of my sight all summer. 